thank you, ladies. While you untuck backstage, the judges and I will deliberate. You may leave the stage. Oh my God. The judges are not happy with my campaign ad. And I might be on the chopping block. So I'm worried about that. My criticisms were the lowest, which sucks, but yeah, I just, I wasn't the weakest. I wasn't. Maybe I was. All set? All right, girl. Ooh. Bartender. Oh, my goodness. Champagne, darling. <laughs> Oh. Child, let me sit over here by you. Oh, oh God. Hot ass furs and Girl. jingles and shingles and You do look glamorous tonight. Yeah, Chi Chi, this is like my favorite outfit you've worn. Thank y'all. It's very Kim Chi, too. What? Completely covered in just, every inch, I'm covered in rhinestones. I just thought they were going to say, Girl, too many accessories. No such thing. Never heard of you it. You only have one accessory on, bitch. Besides no, Chi Chi. Oh, I got three. earrings, this, the oh, ring, I, I clip in that. my head. Only thing about this outfit is you're not wearing a necklace. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's perfect. All right, we do it every week, top and bottom. Well, you, me, and I think Thorgy is in the bottom, mm -hmm. and the rest are top. I didn't smear Naomi enough, Thorgy didn't smear Chi Chi enough. I feel like the only people that smeared were me and Bob. Yeah. You guys were best runway. We heard that from a couple people because you padded and you look different and you look glamorous. I just and don't she, look cheap. Yeah. Ooh, thank God. Remember how they've judged in the past, though? The runway did not count like yeah. the challenge did. Yeah. What did they say about it? I don't remember. They loved your look, and they uh, loved your video. How do you feel about that? Um, I mean, I, mean, I do feel like I'm working really hard, and I feel like I'm well, uh, and not also, making like, excuses. I love you, but when they keep telling me, edit, 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 when I do too much, it's like you wearing the hair and the thing and the corset and the thing and the gloves and the shoes and this thing in your hair and then another beret and you're gonna wear those silver earrings and well, the thing around your neck. If you're a clown, you can't edit down. Like a clown is like. Am I crazy by saying that? I feel like I'm, I'm crazy. I'm, I feel like I'm wearing mishmex patterns, big hair and a flower. Yeah, but I mean you the, look but good. It's not like it's just, big... For me, it's a like, whoa, there's a lot. Thorgy's great, and as much as I love her, there's a side of him where he gets very, very, very jealous and competitive. He's constantly comparing himself to Bob, but their style, aesthetic, and their humor is nothing alike. So stop comparing yourself to Bob and just be Thorgy. But I'm saying every week, they're like, oh, that's a week. theme that we hate you about. It's like, you always need oh. to edit, edit, edit. Thorgy's always in her head too much. Like, everything is overthought. If you ever want to, like, freak Thorgy out, just walk by and be like, that scarf? And just walk away. She'll be obsessed about that scarf, and should she wear it, and should she not wear it, should she make it a hair tie, should it be a shoulder thing, should she turn it into a sleeve? Like, that's how Thorgy's brain works. So I don't take her competitive spirit personally. It has nothing to do with me. Maybe they just want you to rein it in and do something specific, as opposed to picking all the good things from everything. Like, instead of trying to be in the jack of all trades, you just pick one. My grandmother said that to me the week before she died. Did she really? She said to me, you know what? You're the jack of all trades, but you're going to be the master of none. That's dark. Yeah, I'll, I will never forget hearing that. I mean, do, do, do you think that's why you are always grabbing at everything instead of taking her advice? No, I don't do it because she said that. I was just shocking that. I guess it's, I'm still being told that. I just, I, I hate being so narrow-minded in one field of anything. I, I think everyone should kind of be broad. You know, it's like, I always, I feel like I always have to defend that when I'm like, why is everyone trying to put me in a box? Mm -hmm. How dare you, kind Maybe. of. It's impossible for me to kind of put myself in one box. I'm kind of a adaptable chameleon drag queen. But I'm always Thorgy at the heart of it. Every single time I see you, 
I see different people, and I love Thank that you. about you. Yeah. I love that. Kimchi does that too. I never see the same kimchi face. I feel like the four of us, we give pretty same face. Yeah, true. We're, we stick within ourselves where we're comfortable. Even though your paint looks different, it doesn't look that different. Yeah, I, I you know. You but you all, you're always impersonating different people and sometimes Not they're people and sometimes they're your own people. And I love that about your drag. So Thanks, girl. I don't I don't look at it as a bad thing. I, I love I like that you, you spoke up for that. <laughs> so who do you think is going home tonight? So I'm staying here. I know that much. Anyone else? I think I'm in the bottom three. Does everyone else agree? I think if it went by the the campaign, that Bob and I are in the top two. Nobody's video is as good as mine. No one went outside of their comfort zone. And that's what this challenge was supposed to do for us. And I think Bob and I delivered. We were the only ones that smeared each other to the extent that they were requesting. But I feel like Naomi won the challenge. I agree with Chi-Chi. Because she's amazing. They loved her outfit she, the most. She wore pads. Yeah, you, you know delivered. I mean? like, but you wore boobs and hips and cinched your waist. They gushed over you Who? and you. Like, they were like, I just Wait, think that's, that's because like I've, they've never seen me look this expensive. <laughs> <laughs> do you really think I'll be in the bottom two? I think I'm, you will. I do. You think so? I do. The acting challenge. I don't think it really got the job done as far as what the challenge was, which was to be shady. I don't think you're a big speaker. I was a little devastated that my efforts didn't go over well as I had hoped. Who do you think are the harsh critiques? I think that Thorgy and Derek. Like they didn't like, they, there were things they didn't like about Thorgy's ad and things they didn't like about her look, but they mostly attacked Derek for her runway look, but they seemed to really actually enjoy her video. There we go, that's not going anywhere. My criticisms from the judges were the lowest. So I think I'm gonna be in the bottom two. And I'm gonna go out there and kill this. Oh my God, I am not going home. Derek, it's been nice knowing you. Are you saying it's been what? nice knowing you because you're sending me home? Absolutely, and I love you so much. Oh, all right. Goodbye, Derek. No. <laughs> Girl, I don't mind. I love you. Bye. No. <laughs> Give me the stage. <laughs> I'm literally like, where's the mic? Anyway, say goodbye to Derek or Kim G. <laughs> Baby, this thing is a so loser, honey. Who? Thor G. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. She oh. understands she wants to win a challenge. But it's not, it's not, Thor G doesn't want to win. She wants you to lose. There's a huge <laughs> difference, because Thor G is like, oh, you got girls painting your back, and you're wearing someone else's outfit, someone else's lip gloss, and my earrings. <laughs> it's like, well, bitch, you want your fucking earrings back? You're going to bitch about taking your earrings exactly. back. Exactly. That's how I feel. But then she's like, but you look amazing. And I'm like, well, then. <laughs> but Thor G, Thor, listen, I've known Thor G for years. She loves like complaining is literally her favorite thing. I remember one time we were working at this, at this restaurant together, and Thorgy walks in, and I just say, I was so excited to see her. I was like, hey, Thorge. And she never said hey. I was like, hey, Thorge. She was like, ugh, oh my god, traffic was a disaster. Not to mention my leg hurts, my knee. Ever since I did your show, my knee's been hurting. I'm trying to quit smoking, but I can't quit smoking. Then I showed up, and then the manager was driving me crazy. I don't want to <laughs> deal with all these customers and blah, 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 blah. And then, she, then I was like, Hi, Thorgy. Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> but you, that, you look amazing. And you look I mean, <laughs> like you're worth $60. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Ooh. I was focused too much on my own presidential campaign as opposed to smearing my opponent. So I'm worried that I might be in the bottom at this point. From here, um, I feel like uh, Derek does look like. Who's that one monster? I don't know, bitch. I hate the dress, though. I wouldn't. It's not. I an, wouldn't it's, wear it's not a nice dress. It, no. it, it, and I've always said to myself, you should never be able to be on Drag Race and have some girl at home go, "Oh, I have that dress." <laughs> bitch, who am I to talk about pedestrian? Shit? 
but like I would never. Well, I think she knows now that it wasn't a nice dress and that it was probably. She was mistake. living more for the reveal yeah. than the, you know. But it could have it could have been uh, judged up and. Bitch, uh, Naomi saw that last week and she was like, "Who is wearing this dress? It's disgusting." And she, she looked at me and I was like, "Yeah, it's pretty gross." And then I was like, "I think it's Derek." <laughs> Derek. What? I want to ask you a question. What? Do you? How much do you know about this song? How much do I know about this song? Yeah, like have you seen this movie do you, or the play? I know the movie. I know the soundtrack of the movie. And so do you know what what happened right before, yes. like the build up to this yes. scene? Yes. She got she got let go. Yeah, but like how she thought she was still in the group. Oh yeah. And she didn't she find come and see another girl. girl there, and she's another like, girl is rehearsing. They're doing their show, and she's like, "Oh no, you didn't." This is like the lowest point in her life. Mm -hmm. She lost all of her friends. She lost her boyfriend. Right. She lost her job. Right. All in one day. Yep. yep. And, and she's now officially poor. And then she knows they're going to go and rise and be superstars. Right. She knows she's pregnant. Mm -hmm. She knows she lost her boyfriend. She lost her job. Yeah. She lost every friend she has. Mm -hmm. Even her brother. Her brother turned his back on her. If you live single, bitch, you have to be in tears. Oh, yeah. yeah. You better like be in she, tears. She oh, yeah. She's let go of her. Oh, yeah. Listen to this too, Kim. She's let go of her everything. And she's gotten to the point where she's literally begging a man who said he doesn't love her to just be with her. This is like honestly one of the most emotional songs in musical theater Ever. history. This one a black woman a Tony when they weren't giving black folks Tonys when they, when she won this award. Yeah. Like that is this how This is Jennifer Holiday. Yeah. Yeah. So I know this that. is not we Jennifer Hudson. This is you have to Oh yeah. embody like this think about how out. sad oh, you'll oh, feel yeah. going, going home out. and then That's use it. it. I mean, the lyrics of this song could not be more perfect for a lip sync. This is the lip sync you want to do. This has the potential to be the best lip sync in, in the, the history, history of Drag, drag Race. race. Yeah. Honestly. I really think so. Come on, Grandma. Lord have mercy. <sighs> I think you're all right, boo. I don't know. You never know. I think you're all right. Oh, I don't know though, cause they they kind of went buying the food thing. You know what I mean? They was just like it was more about food than it was about. Well, um, yeah. Bitch, just get ready. I was trying to use like food as like a metaphor, you know. Yeah. But just be ready, bitch. Yeah. Just be ready. That's all you can do. Can't do nothing now. Just be ready. No, I'm I'm not going home. No, ma'am. I'm not going nowhere. <sighs> God. Bitch, watch when I get out there, they're gonna say, I'm sorry, Chi Chi, my dear, but you're up for elimination. Hey, Queens, it's a five minute warning to return to main stage. Who are you talking to? Who the f are you talking warning. to? You. <laughs> I know. Oh. Bitch, when she say, and you, and you, you need to be and pointing you. to them judges. Oh, well, I plan Make on eye contact. Do Don't perform to us. Don't perform to the mother in the background. You're trying to convince them judges. Yeah, I'm trying so to convince you need Rue. to. Yes, God. That's yeah. who you need to be performing to. And let them know, bitch. Them I'm know. supposed to be I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Hell yeah. yeah. <sighs> Don't be looking out in the clouds. You better look at them judges. I'm so nervous. You're very funny, Bab. We're actually a talented bunch. This is top six. Okay, one, right? two, three. Thorchy sending someone home. May I just say out loud that I love you, sisters. It's been a pleasure to make top six oh, with you guys. I, I may be in the bottom two lip syncing for myself. I just want to say you have makeup on your pants. Again? <laughs> Do I not? No, yeah, I was just I was just teasing you. And by the way, I love I, I love literally you. love I love, love everything love, about you. Love, love, love you. I'm definitely worried because I just don't know how it's going to play out. But no matter what, this experience has changed my life. And I've learned so much about myself. So I cannot be in the bottom two again. We're headed to the main stage. Everybody follow me this way, please. 
And now I walk away. Into the dust. Into the blackness. Cue the smoke. <laughs> Please cue the smoke. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> but I still look good. Welcome back to Decision 2016. Thorji Thor, Chichi Devane. This is your last chance to impress me and save yourself from elimination. The time has come for you to lip sync for your life. All right, I've made my decision. Chi Chi Devane, Shantae, you stay. Thorji Thor, you brought the BK to the RDR, and girl, I ain't go LIE. <laughs> we loved every minute of it. Now, sashay away. I love you guys. Thank you, Ruth, so much. Thank you. By Thorgy. Witty catchphrase, you know what I mean? <laughs> Congratulations, ladies. Now remember, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you and you and you gonna love somebody else. Can I get an amen in here? Amen. All right, now, <laughs> now let the music play. I don't regret a single thing. This was such a blast and I had such a fun time. I made Sisters for Life and I got to meet Rue and Michelle and Carson and Ross and, and I, I just love it. I met a lot of great people, I had a lot of great times and this will serve as a catalyst towards great things in my future. So I don't regret a single thing I did on the show. I had a blast. Come on, we'll see Pops of Healing and your Kids, don't get your tongue. <laughs> This show is a lot harder than you think. Everything you see on TV has a lot that happened before it to make it happen, so judge us uh, kindly and uh, fall in love with us because we're all in love with each other. Oh, look at all this incredible stuff I didn't get to wear. Oh, what a shame. I love you, Thorgy. Wow, I'm top three. You know what I mean? <laughs> love, Derek. What a whore. Thorgy, thank you so much for all your love, good times, and especially these earrings. I love you. Naomi Smalls. What a bitch. No other notes? Mm, thanks, Bob. New York sisters. No more. I'm not bitter, I'm just, I guess I'm just upset that I didn't get to, uh... Oh, there's my underwear. Um, I guess I'm just, I'm sour, I didn't get to wear some of this incredible stuff, but... I'll wear it eventually. I can't wait until, like, the next, uh, chapter of my life. Wigs, wigs, wigs. I didn't get to wear these. What are those for? They're, you know, just like a nice purse. <laughs> you know, like just carrying around your everyday needs, you know? Just too fun to play with. I think I'm just gonna wear these on a the plane. Like, yes, I have one carry-on. <laughs> this one. Hello. Oh, hi. Do you know where row H is? <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> so, we'll put this in my bag. 
Chi Chi. Here is my pink tape. Now you'll have jewelry for the rest of the competition. Ha! The only thing I'm disappointed about is that I didn't get to feature enough, just enough. I had more to give and in a competition where you know a timeline, you save certain tricks for the end. So I'm just disappointed I didn't get to show them to everyone, but I will eventually. All right, New York, here I come. Is me and her? Oh, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Give me a hug. I love you. Well, great job. Everybody's gonna love you. I'll see you around as well. Good luck. Goodbye. See you soon. All right. Oh. Uh. Drag Race, Monday nights on Logo. See you next Tuesday.